Hello my beautiful Libras, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite Divine Light and today we're going to be looking into your financial forecast for the next four weeks. I'm going to jump into your cup right away. Also, if you go on to enjoy this reading, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And we're going up to 60,000 this month. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is totally free. It wouldn't cost you anything. I see there's a person showing up here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's look at closer. I'm using a different light today. And it seems like this person's actually coming up with some gifts. They might be even... There's another one right here with a hat. Kind of reminds me of the Hermit, the Virgo energy. These two people are contemplating about a subject. And there's another one here you can see with a hat. A long, a big hat. This big hat person can be someone actually creative. Have some sort of like a creative idea or... um working on something something creative this can be you as well seems like here you're connecting with aligned energies there are energies out there this can be people this can be opportunities that you're going to be connecting with um, which will help you expand on this creative idea that you have the creative idea when i say it it might sound like oh you need to come up with an idea for an app or a new company this can even be something maybe at work the slightest thing, maybe you're just changing your mind. If you're using like red pencils, you're going to start using highlighters in order to point out like the important parts of the things that you're reading, you're pointing out. For example, it doesn't have to be something massive, but it seems like that tiny little detail is actually going to be changing a lot of things. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, again, continue with the same example. So if you're preparing like a paperwork, maybe you're working in a law firm and you're analyzing a case and you're going to start using like these highlighters with the colorful things, and that can actually become much more uh, exciting to the reader and this can be to like the, the managing partners maybe they're going to see your work and they're going to offer you to work with this in big case together whatever it is and that can actually open a new pathway for you to excel in what you do get a big promotion uh, like maybe uh, with this the with the help of this case whatever it is so don't think of it like you know i have to come up with this now massive idea because she's saying that there's going to be an idea coming to me it is going to be a slight inspiration don't t put too much meaning on there okay by the way if you would like a private reading from me i'm going to be leaving a link up here so you can go ahead and check that one out and also in the link in the description box okay i see here this kind of reminds me of the the drum, the, um, you know, the big drums, they actually use a little, um, a stick to, with like a soft top. I don't know what it's called. Um, the drum, I think I saw the drum in another reading this week. And the drum actually reminds me of the shaman's drum, which is a gateway, a tool that shamans use to, um, to get to like a higher dimensions, basically. I feel like here, this is an instrument. This is a tool. It can be something that you already have that you're going to discover, maybe something in the attic, or this can be something that you're learning right now, something that you're um, learning, expanding on, uh, maybe a skill that you already have, you're actually going to start practicing it. And it seems like here, this is actually going to get you maybe connected with another kind of looks like a building here and there's another person opening their arms or this can be a skill maybe you're not really putting on your resume which going which is going to be extremely useful for someone this person is looking for you out there and when you actually edit on there they're gonna act be able to find you faster. I see here there's a legal paper showing up in the second week. So if you feel like, okay, I need to add these things or maybe I need to call these people, I need to look this up, whatever it is coming to you as an inspiration, it seems like that is going to be changing something and connecting you with the right people here. I see many people, there's another person right there and there's another per like a male figure and they're all wearing hats. Hat usually indicates someone with authority, maybe someone connected to the government, can be someone working in an official business and i see that uh, there there might be the people 
maybe writing up like paperwork and contracts for something and they're showing up they're maybe appearing here with a contract for you this can even be something like i said the skill can be uh maybe you have a land and you're growing it you're raising certain things on there or you have like um you know property that is gaining value that can be an offer coming to you as well what's going to happen with that is i see that you're rising above here you're starting to wear a hat and you're wearing a cloak so that will give you some sort of authority the knowledge that you obtain the maybe whatever it is that you're gaining here is going to give you some sort of authority is going to raise you to a new uh, level there's a pathway opening in the second week here the pathway can be actually related to your skill maybe like i said you're going to be going to somewhere to get some skills or learn something new and so this is actually can be like you going to a seminar maybe attending something like i was watching something a little clip from anthony robbins seminar and he was actually like talking about something very profound i usually focus on what i need to do to do list and he said here maybe this is what's something that you're going to be going and learning from someone actually who knows the things he was saying maybe you should not maybe he was saying that when you are actually setting off to a course a road a vision you should focus on the results that you want to get rather than the action the to-do list okay so um now like i want to share the information maybe that kind of thing is going to actually put you in a very powerful position when you start to change your strategy rather than trying to change your whole life or like praying the things to work out maybe you're going to change your action plan according to the results that you want to get and that will actually put you in a very powerful place here okay uh, within the third week and um, the second week and the third week moving on to the third week I'm not going to say it's going to be sunshines and rainbows, but I see here letter A. This can be in the first name or the last name of someone coming forward here. I see that there's many people, maybe uh, conversations are happening. If this is a negotiation, a job offer that you're going through, you're going to be talking a lot. And can be maybe if you're planning to buy something new or sell something, there's going to be a lot of talk happening here. But you're a Libra. You're extremely articulate with words. You're a sword, air sign. So you're logical seems like here it's not going to tire you out you're going to actually go through that very smoothly and easily and eventually i see here that you're actually going to gain like carrying this big pot of gold behind you okay seems like this will at the end of the day bring you a lot of financial success okay negotiations can even be in your mind maybe it can be some like negotiating with yourself as well you might be thinking planning something and that will actually carry massive results it seems like here for you i see you're smiling here at the end of the day you're going to have that kind of like a joyful smile and i said this person was actually looking forward initially i saw it i see a letter e can be in their first name or the last name but now they're going to be turning around this can even be someone who wants to get close to you showing up after you settle yourself in like a good position there's another person's face here they're on the crossroads. They m might be again showing up too. This can be like an old family member also like supporting you, maybe a grandmother or grandfather. They're going to be also showing up too. Let's get into your plate. Now I see there's a chunk of money showing here for you. This can be coming up in the beginning of the month in, from an unexpected source. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. Yep, it's falling right into your heart. It is unexpected. I see here your desires coming fast. You might have like a maybe this is something that you have been manifesting. You already got a portion of it, but you're waiting for the next portion. And it seems like here it will it will show up suddenly, okay? And I see two tears of joy. You might be getting Okay, how can I show you that one? There you go. You have two tears of joy. You might be receiving some unexpectedly beautiful news, by the way, along the way. And you see, like, um, this is actually looks like Aquarius energy. There's a bowl of water, uh, like you see in the Aquarius card. There's actually a woman pouring water inside of a lake. So this, um, I feel like water is emotions. Like the more you put passion into the things that you do, the more they're going to actually flow financial uh, abundance to your life as well. Okay. I see there's a light energy here. If you're being surrounded by people, actually, this is Libra season now. Happy birthday to you all. Um, 
it seems like you're going to be surrounded by loving people, family, and friends. Uh, maybe you're going to be celebrating uh, your birthday as well as your financial success with them. Okay, let's get into your cards now. See what's happening with those. Give it a good shuffle and see. We have the chariot. Okay, there's going to be extremely fast developments happening. Chariot is a fast energy. You can see this lady is actually, she's she has two phoenixes. Phoenix? Not phoenix. Sphinx. Sphinx. Yes, actually the other day I was showing my mother that the Sphinx has like water damage right next to it i was showing that to my mother so it seems like your water is also because this is a strange part let's speak about it this is cancer cancer is a water sign and now actually the pyramid is inside in the middle of the desert so uh when you ask the question why is it symbolizing the cancer it's probably planetary alignments or something like that but now i'm feeling there was some water involvement here okay there's like a question because that's why maybe we need to ask the question so why do you have a water sign here leaving the city behind so um i feel like maybe let's go with the desert um analogy you are you have been to the city you are are done with it now you're moving on to a new dimension a new direction and you're leaving whatever it is in the past i feel like this financially maybe you have been following a certain strat strategy or maybe at work now it's like you're over and done with it. You're moving on very strong, very fast with the information that you gain to a new future. Maybe there's going to be a new investment opportunity coming for you. There's going to be a new job opportunity coming for you. And this is actually going to be upgrading you to another level. Like um, this is like I'm starting to think now. I, I shuffle this deck all the time. Why is this deck? I shuffle this deck now. I keep... Okay. Queen of Swords keep coming for every single person in the same exact position. This is the second week. Queen of Swords keep coming. Like somebody tell me, please, down below, what's happening on the second week of this October? Is there like a full moon coming forward? New moon is coming on October 3rd, I know, the in Libra. But the second week, uh, there is going to be some logical decisions needed to make make okay you need to everybody i feel like have to make this kind of logical decisions even if everything goes south maybe nothing actually looks um you know bright and white you need to make extremely logical decisions here you need to be stoic take things one thing at a time and maybe even if even those things go in a certain negative way you need to keep logic going okay this is like keep the message keeps coming for same for everyone now and i'm like i'm spooked out the capricorn i think the capricorn was different and we have the ace uh, the not the ace this is actually ace means wands in my language page of wands here so what happens is you're going to keep it cool you're going to approach a situation maybe you're going to get an offer and you're going to approach it in a very logical way and what's going to happen is it is going to actually bring another opportunity to you this is going to be something adventurous a new beginning a new financial expansion which will actually put you in a very good mood in a high mood this can be coming from someone aries leo or a sagittarius we have four of cups here so towards the end of the month i know you're libra as you are intellectual you like to learn new things and i feel like you're going to consume this new thing coming information really fast and you're going to be in a position to okay what's next now i'm over and done with that again you're going to go through that really fast or maybe this is the beginning thing that you're going to be feeling even though um you're moving away from whatever that you're over and done with you're going to feel the effects of that still and you're going to be wondering okay you might be even getting into the boredom mood okay let's see why because we have the three of ones here you want a new adventure and the universe says yes i will deliver that to you you will be given and it's followed by again the shadow part the wheel of fortune so you are completing a cycle this can be like i mentioned the financial cycle maybe you are uh in a certain cycle for so long with financially 
it seems like you're going to be completing that and start a new thing a new beginning is coming forward here and it seems like it is going to be abundant and it is going to include not only like money because money is the tool that we use to buy the things that we want a home a car a vehicle or maybe a retirement opportunities um Mm, what else is coming to me i was thinking actually education maybe you want to learn new things or the travel opportunity all that jazz all that beauty all that goodness is actually going to be coming forward with the wheel of fortune okay so a little bit boredom is good for you right now we have new supportive connections so that's why i want to say this can be someone that is coming forward in your life that is actually someone creative uh, who has uh, maybe like a joyful way of seeing life and they can give you a different perspective as well maybe you have been in the same mindset for so long this person has like a different approach to the things i see ascended masters so if you're believing in them go ahead and like take that as a celebration because this is actually whoever is coming forward this can be someone that you have a soul contract with in a positive sense and if your goal is to become wealthy prosperous abundant and this deal if they you made this deal with this person in the past life or maybe in the higher dimension they're going to be showing up to support you in this endeavor and if you're not believing in the ascended master this can be like a uh, you know a good friend actually like showing up for you okay and uh, maybe divine powers divine um mm, guidance is actually going to be coming forward through people okay Th this is how i explained that for example sometimes you have this question running in your mind for so long and like you don't know the answer there's no resource for you to find it but then when you're walking in the supermarket somebody in another aisle actually speaks to you about it talks about it and you overhear it and that's actually the spirit the universe telling you okay here's your answer we have the arrow surround yourself with protective energy with i feel like the positive people who are actually lifting you up rather than the people that are bringing you down because i feel like everybody is in a depressive mode right now i feel like this is because of the times the energy the election energy those kind of like political things actually turn people uh as sour a little bit so uh, if you are finding yourself in those kind of discussions remove yourself out of those because they might uh, lower your energy down which can cause you to um you know step away from your course basically okay oh now it's getting lighter and beautiful i like that we have the otter spirit you're never alone this is basically proving four and two 42 is like the uh six is unconditional love and it's like the half of each other there are just two otters actually hugging each other here it seems like there is if, even if you're alone right now you if you're feeling like you don't have the support there is a soul family out there. They are going to be coming forward as new connected, supportive connections. And they're going to be uh, supporting your financial endeavors. They're going to be giving you the help that you need at this moment. Okay. And don't think of the help is actually given by these people. Uh, I feel like the people and the things are the hand of God. Actually, God or you, God is using them to hand us what we need. You know, they're just the hand of the God. They're not the maker or breaker of the things. Okay right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give us one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye